Welcome. So what I have here is 2 minus secant squared of z minus 1 mi or equals 1 minus tangent squared of z. And what I want to do is I want to verify this identity. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I need to pick a side, and I'm just going to work on simplifying that side. And I need to pick the side. I, it's always important to kind of pick the side that's going to be the most complicated first. And what you kind of want to say is the most complicated it kind of really depends on you. I'm going to kind of say um, the left side is going to be the more complicated um, for me because I know that um, secant is, you know, I can use my Pythagorean identities for it, but I have a 2 and a secant, and I know that this is already part of a trigonometric identity. So this one is, I'm going to want to make sure I can simplify this down and see if I can get it to equal the right side. So by looking ahead, I notice I have secant squared, which automatically tells me I have to use my Pythagorean identities, which uh, I guess I won't use my blue, but we know that 1 plus tangent squared of x is going to equal secant squared of x. Well, we're not dealing with x's, are we? We're dealing with z's. So I'll put a z in there. OK. So what I want to do is on my left side, I want to rewrite it as tangents. So therefore, I know that secant squared of z is equal to 1 plus tangent squared of z. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to replace my secant in for tangent. OK. And I'm just going to kind of stop writing the equals. Um, for my drink, because I'm just going to work on simplifying this left side. All right, so now what I have here is I, I replace the secant squared with 1 plus tangent squared of z because I use the Pythagorean identity. Now what I'll do is I'll use the distributive property for my negative, for negative 1. So I have 2 minus 1 minus tangent squared of z. Well, 2 minus 1 is going to give me 1 minus tangent squared of z which you can notice is now going to equal what my right side is, which is 1 minus tangent squared of z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you verify a trigonometric identity. Thanks.